You have uh, Dan. Mm -hmm. Frank has me. Shane has Brittany. Mm -hmm. That's a powerful group of six people. You strapped in? Yeah. What about taking this opportunity and getting a really, 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 really dangerous player out of this game? Jenna now. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you follow Big Brother, and many, many people do, you know that face. It's Mike Boogie. Welcome. Thank you. Great to have you here. And Emily Morgan, who is one of uh, the executives working on Big Brother Canada with Shaw Media. Great to see you guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So, Mike, when I was reading about you, and I've been watching the show as well, but you have spent a total, because you've been on three seasons of yeah. Big Brother, a total of 153 days in Big Brother houses. Yes, I'm a, I'm a bit of glutton for punishment, I guess you could say, <laughs> in the Big Brother world. Um, You're yes. built of steel, man. You've yeah. seen it all. Yeah, and it's quite boring in there. So it's it's been Is a game it? of attrition for There's me. There's two different worlds than you live in. Yes, yes, very much so. You're cut off from everything. So although it looks kind of fun on the edited version, yeah. it really is a grind in there. Yeah. So how do you deal with that? How do you keep yourself sane, not only when it's quiet, but when you know that there's always the plotting and the strategizing? Yeah, it's really hard. It's, it's stressful. Uh, you're always uh, paranoid that people are plotting against you, and you just have to uh, have steely nerves and, and keep the faith that um, you can mentally outwit and outsmart the other people. Do right. they vet people psychologically before they take them into these kinds of things and go, ooh, yeah? That person's kind of on the edge. I don't think they're going to be able to. That could be a plus. <laughs> Very much so. You have to go through many psychological evaluations, both written and live with psychiatrists. And, right. you know, someone snapped uh, this year and ended up being evicted from the show for headbutting someone. So it gets very stressful in there. No boy, kidding. Oh Emily, I want to talk to you for a minute because Big Brother is around the world in, I don't know how many, probably 10, 15 different countries yeah, at least. 18 countries. 18? Yeah. It's coming to Canada. Yes, and we're really, really excited. I mean, obviously, Big Brother from the U.S. is a huge hit in, in Canada. It draws more than 2 million people every week to Global. So we thought, here's a great chance to capitalize on this and create a Canadian version, which we're going to air on Slice. So right. we're very excited. So we're about looking it. at some of the uh, house guest auditions. Is that right? People lining up? Yes, it looks like that's from, I think that's from Vancouver. Oh, okay. So you've been going right across the country, right? Yeah, we started in Vancouver a few weeks ago, and we were in Calgary, we've been in Montreal, a bunch of different places. We, one of the things we really want to do is to open it up to as many potential Canadians as possible and have a really representative, diverse group of people right. who could potentially come into the house. I so. wonder if individual national temperaments and cliches come into play. If you could do a comparison, like, you know, are the Italian mm -hmm. big brothers, are they more passionate and demonstrative? Will the Canadians be more laid back and kind of... Well, I know. I mean, it's one of the interesting questions because I think that every version is definitely like the country. It's a bit representative, but I think there was a view that Canadians would be very quiet and subdued right. and might not come out for this, so we've put a lot of effort into the casting. We've had more than, you know, 8,000 people yeah. apply, which wow. is crazy. Because a kinder, you know? gentler household of people could be pretty boring TV. Yes, no, I think you definitely, I mean, one of the keys thing, as Mike was saying, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a game, right? It's a social game, it's an endurance game, yeah. and you've got to have an interesting mix of people in order to make that work. I'm here to help find some villains. <laughs> I hear it's hard to find villains in Canada, so they sent me up here. That's true. <laughs> we tend, to, we can... tend to demonize America. <laughs> <laughs> well, rightfully so. Well, <laughs> Mike, what, what memory, after being in there for three separate seasons, what memory stands out to you as a moment where you just thought, are you kidding me right now? Uh, gosh, there's really um, so many, but I, I think just the most surreal moment, not only in Big Brother, but just in my life, was when I won in 2006. I won the All-Star Edition, and to walk out to, you know, 7 million people watching and been cut off from the world for 75 days and be a half million dollars richer, it just, yeah. it's going to be hard to top that moment right. in my life. So. Absolutely. With human relationships, because, you know, there's been romance, or then you had someone that you were friends with turn on you. There's all of those really big, dramatic yes. moments. How do you keep, do you put up a wall or do you actually feel it when it happens? Uh, I think the first time around being a newbie, you know, I felt things a lot more. The next two times I played, I was ready for anything and I, I underwent it all. I had success, I had failure. This year I had one of the biggest double crosses happen to me, which is what I used to do to people. Yeah. So um, I've really seen and done it all in my three seasons in Big Brother. And you really just have to, for those potential contestants here in Canada, is you have to be ready for anything. And, and you know, I think people with reality TV, I think people mm -hmm. now want to know that how much of that is reality and how much is orchestration? 
And there's, so how much of a hand do producers have in it? Oh, I think it'd be funny if you did that. Well, I mean, one of the great things about this particular show and this format is the fact that it really is just watching people in the house, you know, and it is about how they are interacting. There are definitely some producer devices. I mean, you have to craft, you have to put, uh, you know, put the show together, sure. but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but yeah, there's a narrative thread that needs to be there. Mm -hmm, yeah. For sure, but it's also a bit of that fly on the wall, which is one of the amazing it's perspective voyeurism. points it's on What's voyeurism. different is you never really have any contact with any of the producers, just, you know, via the diary room and over the speakers, so right. you don't have that that connection and that interaction. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's really the most real of all the reality shows. All right, if you think you have what it takes, uh, Big Brother Canada casting is happening this Sunday between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. at the Royal York Hotel down and, on front. And sorry, also I wanted to say that you can also apply online at slice.ca, but the, today is the last day for doing that. Oh, so. okay, so if you want to get that in, last day today. But we are giving away four front-of-the-line passes to the Big Brother auditions that are being held in Toronto this weekend. Go to morningshow.ca to find out how to win. We're going to be looking forward to it. Is it going to start airing this winter? It'll be on in the winter on Slice. Beautiful. Perfect. Well, Mike Boogie, so nice to meet you after <laughs> watching you for so many years. Emily Morgan, a production executive with Shaw. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. For We're going to take a break. 7.56. I just heard the DJ warming up. There's a party that's All about right. to begin in this place. <laughs> hey, hang around if you can. Party. <laughs> See you in a minute.